While we won't necessarily spend time discussing the causes and casualties of the turmoil seen in the banking environment over the month of March, we do find it very notable to call out what we think is a meaningful knock-on effect. And this is ultimately tighter lending standards. So why is this important? Well, it's important because the U.S. economy is fueled by credit and loans. Any collapse in loan issuance and credit issuance can be very detrimental to the business and consumer spending environments. It's important to note that even before the recent turmoil seen in the banking environment, lending standards were picking up. In the fourth quarter of 2022, 40% of loan officers domestically reported an uptick in lending standards, which ultimately makes it harder for businesses and consumers to gain access to loans and credit. Banks are now facing a dual-pronged problem, seen in both assets and liabilities. On the liability side, which is deposits for banks, money that is given to them by folks like you and I, as people start to see other available opportunities like money market funds and certificates of deposit that are yielding more than the deposits are paying them, you might see outflows. This is problematic for banks because that is how they make their money. They make their money by taking those deposits and ultimately loaning against them, creating a spread. If there's less money available, lending standards need to be tightened and ultimately that means less capital available for businesses and consumers. So. The bottom line here is that if we do start to see a tightening in lending standards, this could have a stark impact on economic growth in the U.S. It could have an impact on consumer spending in the U.S., which ultimately drives the economy. So it's worth noting and worth watching as we progress through the second quarter of 2023.